the OWI robotic edge arm is a clever little design, but it doesn't uh, allow computer control because it doesn't have any feedback on the joints. You don't know where it is. A lot of people have shown some examples of how they've added position feedback, and I wanted to share the way that I'm going to approach it. I like the use of a potentiometer, but I didn't like gluing it on, so instead I took the potentiometer and I filed down the tip of it to make it look like a screwdriver slot, and then I changed the screws in some of the joints to put standard flathead screws in. You can see that one right, right there. So when you insert the potentiometer, it engages in the screw and no glue is required. But you do have to mount the pot, so the question was how to mount it, and I have access to a 3D printer, so I just designed some th quick 3D mounts uh, out of plastic. You can see there's one there and one below, and that holds them in pretty good shape. So if you turn this, you can see the pot remains stationary, and you can see the shaft of the pot turns as the arm moves. Pretty simple design and should allow me to read back the position. That worked for all but the bottom joint. Of course, the bottom joint, if you put a pot on the top, anywhere up in here, it becomes difficult because as the joint rotates, it interferes with the potentiometer. So I wanted to come up with something that would allow the thing to rotate full form. And I ended up printing a gear, which I'll show right here. I printed a ring gear that um, I've screwed down with 256 screws. And I printed a spur gear, which goes into it, which is mounted on a pot, just like that. So between the two, when you turn the base, so I can get down closer to... Everything rotates, the pot turns. Of course, you have to go more than one full turn on the pot because of the gear ratio. So I'm using a 10-turn pot, 20K 10-turn, and from that I'll extract the voltage and the position. Hope that helps.